Alright, that's all the money I'm gonna spend on weapon stuff. Let's go talk to Joker. Hey Commander, check it out. Big news! The Blasto movie is breaking opening week records. There's also a big expose on Quasar tournaments. Tips on how to make your apartment look bigger. And oh yeah, a big ass Reaper invasion. These people have no idea. I did not like that entire scene. He did not look like he was talking to Shepard. Facial animations were off. Come on, Bioware, get on this. When big events shake up the galaxy, people cling to what's familiar. You say that like it's a good thing. It's better than riots in the streets. I guess. I just wish there were a middle ground. You know, a little less gardening advice, a little more war prep. It'll happen. Once there's something people can do to help. Meanwhile, they ignore the unshackled AI walking around the Presidium. She run into any trouble? No, no, she's my mobility assistance mech. <laughs> Thanks to Vrolic Syndrome, I'm legally entitled to bring her everywhere. Finally getting some use out of those disability benefits. I'm sure she appreciates getting out to see the sights. Ah, she's earned a little shore leave. That entire conversation made me uncomfortable. I don't know why. It just, just did. Alright, I gotta talk to Varlabon. I don't know what this is. This is a reduced weapon weight. That could be useful. Collector armor? Are you kidding me? Boy, they. Quit talking to me, robot people. Uh-oh. But your manager said he could give me a refund if I made an appointment. You're not on my appointment list, and you don't have a receipt. I, I don't even think we carry that version anymore. Are you keeping this guy at work while there's a war on? Uh, well, it's his job, right? Actually, I'm supposed to be on break. Contacting the family I haven't heard from in days. Uh, yeah. I guess maybe a war's a bad time. Maybe? That didn't cross your mind the other ten times you visited this week? Uh, yeah, sorry. I'll just... Okay, I have no idea what I just argued with them there. I have no idea. I don't, I don't really care. Maybe I'm an idiot. Whatever. Um, I want to I wanna keep buying upgrades that I don't know if I'm going to use. <laughs> I don't want to keep looking at upgrades for stuff. Ooh. What's in here? Nothing. It's a waste of space. Okay, let's see. I want to go and talk to Varlavan. Varlavan, I'm oh, I'm already at that spot. He's at spot number one. All right, so this is like this the is Citadel in Mass Effect was very easy to navigate. I felt like I could get around in Mass Effect really easy. Um, what the heck? Gnarl? What is Gnarl? Hold on. Something up here said Gnarl. I'm gonna get on Gnarly. Quick, hands behind your back. We'll be here any minute. What the hell are you talking about? Crete, Blood Pack's leader. Arya brings him the great commander Shepard. Crete pledges the gang to her. We're just luring him into the open so we can take him out. Not the best start to our friendship, Gnarl. He's coming. Put your hands behind your back and uh, try to look like I beat you up or something. Mother, this better be on the up and up. Quiet. <clears throat> I have to look even more powerful than Creek thought. Her instructions on boarding Citadel undetected were one thing. Now this, <sighs> Commander Shepard, wants you to know your head will be hood ornament on my personal shuttle. Keep your distance, Creed. So, do you agree to Arya's terms? Uh, most definitely. Arya can use Blood Pack as she sees fit. Wasn't talking to you, Creed. Grill? What? You have my word. Now open fire! Oh, snap! Drop Not that fool. Grill's next in line to take over. Arya's deal is with him. Yes, yes. I'm Arya's mole, Shepard. 
You've scratched my back. Now I'll scratch yours. Word of advice. Don't double-cross Arya. I may be ambitious, but I'm not crazy. Uh-huh. <laughs> Good work, Narl. Thanks for the gun. Anytime, Shepard. Grill and I will let Arya know the light is green. I gotta be honest, those aliens, the... The ugly looking ones, those things are ugly. <laughs> what the hell? Something says activate something. What am I activating? Whatever. Uh, yeah, I don't like those guys. Call me prejudiced if you want, but... Something about them just... They look mean. All the time. 100% of the time, and I don't like them. Mm -mm. Let's go find Barlavan. I haven't seen him since Mass Effect 1. Barla, Barlavan, where are you? Are you over here? Yes, you are. Isn't there anything else we can do? The military needs everyone they can get. No, they don't. You two could save lives by helping doctors in the refugee camps. Um, thanks. You're welcome. What is that? Barla Vaughn, my man. Commander Shepard. I don't believe I've ever had the pleasure. Lies. Barla Vaughn. Financial advisor. We have a mutual acquaintance in Admiral Anderson. I wasn't surprised he demanded to remain on the ferocious battle on your home world. I've met you. I've talked to you before. Why doesn't he remember me? We need more people like Anderson if we're going to win this. Agreed. That's where I can help you. A sizable mercenary group is offering their services to anyone who can rescue them from Reaper-controlled territory. Evacuate them, and they'll join your army. I appreciate the information. Just don't wait too long to act on it. The Reapers are advancing all too quickly. Come see me once you've completed the extraction. I'll be in my office a while longer. The galactic market is in considerable flux. Well. Great, another mission to go on. See, this is my problem with games like Mass Effect. Um, any RPG, really, is just, here's all of these missions. Well, these aren't missions, but here's just all of these missions to do all at the same time. A little daunting. Uh... But yeah, I suppose if you just check them off on a checklist, you're okay. So Solarian on the Citadel needs new heating unit stabilizers. All right. Well, we'll find those as we go along. Uh, anything else that I need to do in here? Um, think so? I think I'm going to go to the, I'm going to go to the, uh, Embassies. Take care of some business. That's that's my plan. Welcome, Commander Shepard. One moment. Please. Thank you. Lots of elevators in this game, but not not like the elevators in Mass Effect. Um, although this right here, this loading screen is pretty much the exact same thing as the elevator loading screen. It's just a little more cinematic. What can you do? All right, now let's go right. talk to some people. And get. Uh, I'm gonna go talk to. Do, 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 do. Well, I guess I'm gonna go talk to Commander Bailey first. That's to my right. Yes, it is. Okay. Want to make sure that I've got everything. Cause, like I said, there's a lot of stuff. A lot. Commander Bailey. Shepard, to what do I owe the pleasure? Here to talk about you releasing Jonas Sedaris. Damn, you too? Somebody got the council to order her release. I'm delaying as best I can. What's your stake in this? It's classified. That's a fancy way of saying mind your own business. Look, there's no way I'm letting that psychopath out. The woman's unstable and a clear public threat. What makes you think she's crazy? She was a ruthless sadist before she got caught. Her imprisonment has cracked a shell off the nut. Maybe freedom will improve her. 
She rages day and night, Shepard, calling for the deaths of all Eclipse enemies. No, freedom will only give her the chance to kill. I'd like access to her to judge for myself. Sure thing. I'm sure you'll agree. Then maybe the Council will listen to you and rescind the order. Go to the CSEC outpost. My assistant will connect to Sedera's cell from there. Then call me back. Right. I gotta go other places now. Can I just, like, be transported directly to where she is instead of having to walk around? I'm gonna go talk to Udina real quick. See what this bastard wants. See if, if he wants anything at all. I'm not sure if he does. But I haven't talked to him in a while. The council. All I can think is that the more things change, the more they stay the same. I've always loathed that phrase, fatalism. Not what men and women should aspire to. If we don't figure out something, maybe later will be an epitaph on a mass grave of 11 billion. I know what I'm gonna do. What are you gonna do? Humanity is as feared as we are loved. Hopefully that works in our favor now. I'll try to get financial aid from as many worlds as I can. Maybe manpower, a few armed ships. I'll institute a draft in our colonies and order all civilian ships armed. Work on the Prothean device will be around the clock. Any news from Earth? There is constant news. All of it bad. The Reapers are destroying satellites and the old nuclear missile silos, along with everything else that could help. We have a handful of quantum entanglers spread out over the continents. All other communication is cut. What's your read on the Counselors? Any angles I could pursue? Counselor Irissa is not like her predecessor. She is colder. If she has her hand on your throat, she will squeeze. A shield. There you might find some traction. Practical, she might make Machiavelli turn pale, but that's a Delatras for you. Frankly, it's good Quentius spoke with you. His home world is in the most trouble, and he's looking for a way out. That speaks opportunity. You're a Citadel Counselor. Don't you have options when the others block you like this? With Parliament destroyed and Shastri gone, I have more power than any human in history. But today, you saw how little that is. Rest assured, I will not be counted out long. I know I can move mountains. Do not lose sight of that, because the task before us is moving planets. That sounds like you won't succeed. I helped you into this office because I thought you'd be effective. You need a carrot or a stick to drive a mule, and humanity has neither right now. Our armada is tied down fighting or fleeing, and with Earth's calm buoys gone, our economy is reduced to an IOU. But leave that part to me. I will lean on our colonies for all they're worth, and I can broker enough trade to repair and resupply Hackett's fleet. Did you know a lot of people on Earth? Many. It's monstrous to think of them being snuffed out, of course, but the part that gets me is Arcturus. I must know... I must have known most of the Alliance Parliament on a first-name basis. I required a second VI just to track all their birthdays and anniversaries. Rose Garden stuff, but to have it all gone... I should go. I'll be here. See, now this is the kind of stuff that interests me because I did not have Udina go as the counselor at the end of Mass Effect. I picked Anderson. Uh, so it's interesting to see. I don't know. Like, like, like I've been saying, I've not beaten Mass Effect 2. So if anything happened in Mass Effect 2 to reverse that decision, then okay. But the fact that as a default, he is now the ambassador... It's kind of disappointing. Welcome! Corian Pilgrim Jen Volan Narnima on the Citadel receive a large credit transfer from the fleet. A lot of reading. I don't want to read. Whoa! Whoa, 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 these are expensive. I don't have money for those. But I know what I'm gonna be saving up for now. I didn't realize I had my own personal store. No, I'm not gonna enter the shooting range. I don't need to do that. All right, let's just get the hell off of this place and start doing some missions. I've been spending way too much time on this. Uh, talking to people, I've talked to everybody, I think, though, so. I think that's Good, although I do need to go to the C-Sec outpost now. Damn it. 
That's that's disappointing.